beautiful start to the weekend. Let's hope the rest of it is just like this. It is going to be very, very nice, Steve. We are talking more sunshine, temperatures maybe just a little bit warmer, but the humidity is not going to be bad. Just really perfect weather heading our way. Check out what's going on right now over at the Stonecrest Golf Course weather cam. You can see Oh, it is a beautiful afternoon across the mountains. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds out there, plenty of sunshine. The temperatures, they're warm, but they're comfortable. It's just perfect in my book. Let's go on over to Pinpoint Doppler, and you can see all four sweeps coming back nice and dry. Plenty of clear skies expected tonight, and that means you'll get another chance to see that full moon, that uh, blue moon. Uh, we had a few pictures from last night. The moon technically uh, was at the peak of its lunar cycle at 643 this morning. So uh, if you didn't get a chance to see it last night, you'll get another chance again tonight. Uh, Janet and Rod Miller over in Pike County sent us that picture and got a picture from a little bit off to the west. Kayla Shepard uh, over in Campbellsville out towards south central Kentucky uh, sent us a picture. If you get any pics tonight, send them pics at WYMT.com or just post them on the WYMT Facebook page. Mid 80s right now across the Cumberland Valley, low 80s uh, back over into the Big Sandy, at least down near the Virginia border and uh, back up to around 85 for Paintsville and Inez. So the bottom line, gorgeous weather tonight. If you got any plans to grill out, should be good for that. If you're maybe uh, going out to the park to play with the kids, great weather for that. And tomorrow, more sunshine, more warm temperatures. Uh, just be sure to put on the sunscreen if you're going to be out and about. And it's uh, just really us that's seeing the cooler weather. That cold front came in the other day, brought us that more comfortable air mass, but all around us you're seeing low 90s. So uh, we'll hopefully keep uh, those 90s at bay for a while. I think that we will. We'll stay into the mid to upper 80s at least for the next few days for highs. You'll see going into tomorrow afternoon, uh, Future View saying some locations may not get out of the 70s. I think we'll be a little bit warmer than that. But I think mid 80s are a good bet. And then same story again on Sunday. Now they're trying to bring a few showers in here Sunday. I think we're going to hold off on that until Monday as that humidity cranks back up. We'll go to a 20% chance of rain for Monday and Tuesday with highs in the upper 80s. Better chances of rain later in the week as a series of disturbances roll in. But the other story with that is the cooler temperatures. We should be in the mid 80s for highs this time of year. In the next week, we may be struggling to reach 80. Mm. Uh, so a little unseasonal cool air heading our way next week. Early taste of fall. Oh, that it is. Definitely felt cooler this morning uh, as compared to all the heat and humidity early in the week. Oh, yeah. Some locations got into the upper 50s this morning. Mm. So uh, yeah. fall is on our doorstep. It'll be here before we know it. Yes, it will. Shane, thank you. Straight ahead on First at Four, years of planning begin.